Ron, why should dads be careful when they give their child a skateboard? Oh yeah, when they give their child a skateboard. Well, if it's a skateboard dad, so if the, if the dad's a skateboarding person, um, then that's that's a lucky that's a lucky father and child because go for it. But but if a dad used to be a skateboarder and maybe they're in their 30s and they stopped skateboarding 10 years ago, their brain will remember that they were really good. And but they won't actually be really good and they won't know that. And it's quite common for, for fathers to break their arms and sometimes to break their heads because they go to show a few moves to their young one and they don't have the moves anymore and they don't know. Mm -hmm. It's a really important thing. If you, it's, a, it's an example of if you don't use it, you lose it. People think that, if you, that you'll never forget some things. It's, not, it's actually not true. I remember 40 years ago I did a lot of Tai Chi for quite a long time and then I didn't do any for about 20 years and one day I thought I'll do some Tai Chi again and it was gone. I mean it was completely gone and so I went to a class I thought well I'll just go to a class it'll come back. It did not. I, I had to start again. It had completely eroded in me. So if you, some people grow up with um, with a language, like their parents might speak another language and when they were young they kind of were good at it and then they don't do it for 20 years and it is just gone. So, so if you were good at skateboarding and, and you haven't done it for a long time, become a beginner with your child and your child will learn faster, they're quicker, <laughs> they'll overtake you but they'll have a lot of fun and they'll think that you're really impressive. Um, but just be careful.